Well, time is running out to solve this little economic crisis in the United States. Today, President Barack Obama is meeting with congressional leaders in Washington to try to find a way to avoid the impending fiscal cliff. Is it nothing more than a photo op, or will it actually lead to some real solutions? Uh, Brigitte Pellerin is live in Ottawa with the latest. Uh, folks, uh, Brigitte, like uh, Senator Harry Reid will mm -hmm. be there. We'll hear from uh, Nancy Pelosi, as well as John Bain or all the high-profile types. And but Mitch McConnell, that's right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I get back to the point, though. Do you think they'll actually solve anything? Oh, because no. whatever they say, <laughs> that has a really big effect on the markets. No, it will not. I don't think that if there is to be any kind of solution to this uh, crisis, if they do reach some kind of agreement, it will be an 11th hour kind of a thing that we'll hear about just before the new year is uh, rung in, or perhaps even a couple of weeks after January the 1st. Because remember, Alex, the fiscal cliff is not literally a cliff that, that you drive mm -hmm. over on January the 1st. They could simply delay make, having a deal or, or not manage to get a deal until, I don't know, February or March, and it would simply put some of those measures, uh, tax increases and spending cuts, uh, in uh, simply in effect for a couple of months. And that may not plunge the U.S. economy into that deep a recession inside of two months, but it would certainly have some serious impacts, especially as people who are not quite sure what is going to happen hold on making uh, different kind of, for instance, consumers will hold off uh, making big ticket items perhaps you uh, are thinking of buying a new house but you're just going to wait until you know what the rules are going to be maybe you're not going to go out and buy that car just yet you're going to wait uh people may uh, also wait before they uh, say hire someone else or decide to increase their production so there's all kinds of people like that who will just sit tight and wait for things to happen and this is never a good thing for the economy uncertainty yeah, is a the the markets economy don't like killer they don't like it and pat Bolin would tell you this if you were here this morning uh, uh, uncertainty is always something very bad so again I don't expect we'll hear anything conclusive today, except perhaps for a nice photo op, uh, but nothing like that up until at the very least, sometime at least in a month from now, or it could be uh, maybe even a bit later than that. But you know, people talk, there's all kinds of scenarios being floated around. If you read things like the Wall Street Journal and, mm -hmm. and other uh, publications like this and the number crunchers and they're having having a ball these days trying to figure out what kinds of uh, potential deals they, uh, they could be making and what that would mean for the average taxpayer and so on. Uh, let's keep in mind, there's one thing that uh, people seem to be pretty sure that we're you know going towards is a reduction in tax deductions and this is somehow uh, thought of as something that would affect the rich but in fact they would not necessarily these are among the biggest by far tax deductions currently in America health care insurance premiums when you have an employer who covers your health care the premium the insurance premium that the insurer makes on your behalf uh, would otherwise count as income for you but in fact it doesn't and so you don't pay income tax on that and uh, the uh, employer also gets a deduction that's 180 billion dollars a year right there mortgage interest uh, when you own a house and the interest you pay on your mortgage is also a tax deductible a hundred billion dollars a year mm -hmm. and capital gains exclusion when you sell your house the house that you live in and you make a profit on it most people do that uh, you don't pay the capital gains tax on that because it's your primary residence there's there's another uh, tax deduction that benefits you know Everybody, including middle class people, that's worth $23 billion. Again, that's a U.S. economy. Those rules apply here as well. We have very similar rules to that. When you start talking about cutting tax deductions, you're starting to talk about those kinds of deductions. And again, do they only favor the rich? I don't think so. Yeah, no. And if you look at the tone being set by Washington, you know, President Obama, his very first meeting was with union leaders, mm -hmm. the biggest union leaders in the country. And apparently they walked out and felt quite good. And, and from hearing the post discussion mm -hmm. on that meeting, uh, they still are pointing the finger at tax cuts. They're not willing to give up anything. He then had a second meeting with business leaders. Mm -hmm. um, the bottom line is, I think they have two very fundamental differences. Uh, President yes. Obama and his crew would like to spend Right. The, the, the Republicans do not want to tax. And one of the big union leaders has been saying even that the fiscal cliff was just this artificial thing that it didn't exist. Well, yeah, and he's a highly exist. appointed guy to Mr. Obama's new team trying to, indeed. you know, convince people that spending is the way to go. So it'll be interesting. Yes, indeed. We'll watch what happens. Thank you, Brigitte. Thank you.